Good morning, Johnson Jellyfish. Today we're going to be looking at our morning message for the month of April. So let's begin. At, and how do we read from left to right, top to bottom? Okay, so the first sentence says, Good morning, Jellyfish. Hmm, what does the word good mean? How do you spell the word good? Let's spell it g g g. The letter G O O D. That's correct. The word good is spelled G O O D. The next word is morning. M M morning. What does the word morning begin with, class? M. Mm. What letter makes that sound? M. Mm. That's correct. The letter M. Morning. J J jellyfish. I know you guys all are going to get this because our class is Johnson's jellyfish. What does what letter does J, J make? The letter J. Good job. And before we move on, boys and girls, let's talk about punctuation. We have a question mark, exclamation mark, and a period. So what do we have right here? Good morning, jellyfish. What do we have? We have an exclamation mark. Good job. The next sentence says, the weather is, and we need to fill in what our weather's gonna be like today. So the first word we have is the word the. That's a little bit tricky, so Ms. Johnson's gonna help you. The word the, the has a T-H sound. The, the, T-H-E, the long E. Weather, what does the beginning sound begin with? W, w, the letter what? W, that's correct. The weather, is that's one of our sight words let's spell it together i s that's correct the word is and the weather today is going to be cloudy cloudy the weather is cloudy and what do we have as our ending we have a period that's correct a period our next sentence begins with today t -t today what is to begin today begin with? What letter? The letter T. The letter T. Today is. That's our other famous word again. Can we spell it? I S. Is Monday. M -m Monday. What does Monday begin with? The letter M. That's right. The letter M. April. April begins with the letter A, boys and girls. And do this with me at home. The letter A. April, the long A sound says A. Good job, April the 6th. What does the number six look like, boys and girls? Skywrite, the number six. This is what it looks like, the number six. That's correct. And we're going to say 2020. The number 20 is a two and a zero, the number 20. Our new theme is animals class. What is it going to be on animals? And what letter is this, class? That's correct, the letter A. This letter A makes the short A sound. Ah, animals, say it with me. Ah, animals. Now, we also have our ending for a sentence right here as a period. Now we're gonna move on to rhyming, boys and girls, and rhyming. It says, can you rhyme with pig? Okay, we're looking at the same ending sounds. And Ms. Johnson were to say, Ron, you say, that's right, same ending sound. Ron, you say, same ending sound. So our word today is pig, because we are talking about farm animals this week. The word is pig. Can you tell me some words that rhyme with pig, egg, egg, pig? Ig, ig. Hmm. That, I think we're going to say the word jig. Can you say that word with me? Jig. Ig, ig, jig. The next one. Let's think about another one. Hmm. Pig, jig. F, f. What letter makes that sound? That's right, the letter F. Fig. Can you say that with me? Ig, ig, fig. Ig, ig, fig. Okay? Next, 
Let's think about another word. We have pig, jig, fig. Hmm, it can be a made up word, a nonsense word. What about s-ig? S-ig. Does that rhyme with pig? Yes, it does. Pig, sig. The next one we can say, another word, could be w-w-ig. What letter makes that sound? w w the letter W. Wig. Ig, ig, wig. Ig, ig, pig. The next one, we have one more, boys and girls. Can you think of something else that begins, that ends, I'm sorry, with the rhyming ig? Pig, jig, fig, sig, wig, d, d, ig. Hmm, what letter makes that sound? The letter D. Dig. Does that rhyme with pig? Yes, it does. You're correct. Give yourself a hand clap. Pig and dig. Good job, boys and girls. And those are rhyming words. Words that have the same what? Ending sound. Now we're going to move on, boys and girls, to our letter of the week. Our letter of the week is a letter. That's correct. The letter Z. Say it with me again. Z. Now, what sound does the letter Z make? Z. Can you say that with me? Z. Now, so Ms. Johnson has our web over here, and we have the letter Z. We have the uppercase Z and the lowercase Z. And this is a special letter because not a lot of words begin with the letter Z. So, I'm going to share with you some words that begin with the letter Z. Since we're talking about animals, boys and girls, I can share with you an animal that begins with the letter Z. Can you think about an animal that begins with the letter Z? Hmm. I think you got it right. So my pick, boys and girls, is zebra. What is that again, class? Zebra. Z, Z, zebra. Say it with me. Z, Z, zebra. Hmm. I'm thinking about a vegetable that begins with the letter Z. And some of you guys might not eat this vegetable, but you might want to try it one day. Remember, vegetables keep you healthy and strong. So, our next word that begins with the letter Z is a zucchini. Can you say that with me, class? Zucchini. That's right. And zucchini is what? A vegetable. A vegetable. And there is a number. Can you think about a number that begins with the letter Z? I think I know what it is. Can you? Hmm. It's not the number three. It's not the number two. It's a number what? Zero. Zero begins with the letter Z. Z, Z, zero. Z, Z, zucchini. There is one other vocabulary picture word that I want to share with you this morning. And that is a zipper. What is this called? A zipper. That's correct. And where do you find a zipper? Maybe on your what? Shirt. Maybe on your jacket. On your pants. That's a zipper. Z, z, zipper. Okay? All right. So moving right along, boys and girls, we're going to work with beginning sounds. What is this a picture of, class A? That's right. A house. What is this a picture of, class A? Star. That's correct. And this is a picture of a, a tree. Good job. And this, of course, is what we are. Johnson's what? You got it right. Jellyfish. And we have the letter J, T, H, S. Can you match the beginning sound to the picture? Let's try and do it with Miss Johnson this morning, okay? So, house, h h house. What letter makes that sound? Hmm. Can you guess what it is? I, that's correct, boys and girls. H house. Then, boys and girls, we have a picture of a star. Star. Hmm. What is the beginning sound of the word star? That's right. 
the letter S. Then we're moving to the picture of the tree. What does tree begin with? T, t, tree. That's correct. T goes with the picture of a tree. Last but not least, we have the jellyfish. And I really know that you know this one. That's right. J goes with jellyfish. We're moving right along, boys and girls, to syllable count. Okay? So we're going to uh, count our syllables. And remember how we do our syllables in our class. We clap it, we snap it, and we do the body parts. Since we're talking about the theme animals, we have the word farm. Can you say that with me? Farm. That's right. Farm. So we're going to clap farm. Clap it, class. Ready? Go. How many is count? Count it. One. How many? One. Just one syllable in the word farm. The next word is another animal that you will find on a farm, and that is chicken. Say that with me, class. Chicken. Let's snap it. No, I'm sorry. Let's clap it. Chicken. Snap it. Chicken. And body part. Chicken. And let's count. One, two. How many syllables in chicken? That's right, two syllables. And there is something that we find on a farm that helps the farmers take things from place to place. And this is called a tractor. What is it called? A tractor. So say that with me, tractor. Let's clap, this, clap, snap, and do body parts. Tractor, tractor, body part. Tractor and count. One, two. How many syllables? Two. That's correct. You got it right. Good job, you guys. Now we're moving, boys and girls, to the words in a sentence. We're talking about words in a sentence. So this is how we do it in our classroom. Ms. Johnson is going to read it, and we're going to use our hand, okay? And Ms. Johnson is also going to put a box around the word. I'm going to read it, and we're going to use our fists. Fists up. The barn is red. Put your fist up. The barn is red. Let's count that. One, two, three, and four. How many words in that sentence? Four. That's correct. Four. So I'm going to put a box. One, count with me. Two, three, and four. How many words in that sentence? There are four words in that sentence. Good job. I know you guys got that one. The next sentence we have is, A duck swims in a pond. Please repeat after me. A duck swims in a pond. Okay, we're going to have to use two hands for this one, okay? So two fists up. D, I'm sorry. A duck swims in a pond. We have five on this one. Five plus one is what class? Six. That's correct. So we have six, but we got to check it, okay? Let's check to see if we have six words. One, two, three, four, five, and six. How many words in our sentence? Six. You did it, guys. Did a great job. Great job on counting the words in that sentence. Now, before we close out, I have a picture of a what class? Hmm. Yep, that's correct. That's an umbrella. What is that? An umbrella. And what does an umbrella begin with class? The letter what? The letter U. It makes the uh sound. But when do we use an umbrella? We use it when it what? That's right, when it rains, right? What else do we do we use when it rains? We use maybe a raincoat and some rain boots. So we're going to count the number of raindrops that have fallen on the ground. Because guess what, you guys? It's springtime. And do you remember that it rained last week? And we're going to check to see today if we have a rainy type of weather. Because remember, we said it was cloudy outside today. So let's count the number of raindrops. Boys and girls, ready? Make sure you are counting while Ms. Johnson's and raindrops begin. Remember, we're doing left to right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
15. How many raindrops do we have? 15. That's correct. The 15 looks like a 1, boys and girls, and a 5. A 1 and a 5 is a number 15. And before I close today, boys and girls, I want to talk about the word that we have talked about all school year. And I know you know what it means. It means the word says perseverance. Do you know what that means? That means that we have to do what? Keep trying, right? Yes, we do. We're going to keep on trying. Even when things get hard, boys and girls, we're going to persevere. So that means we're going to persevere. And perseverance means what? To keep trying. To keep running that race, okay? So keep doing your best, and we'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Goodbye, jellyfish.